Hi guys, um, I'm Soyal Khalai Khorasani. I'm a UX designer from Toronto, Ontario. And today together we'll be having a look through a case study that I've been working on for a past little while um, called ProTip. Um, this is a mobile app that focuses on putting advice seeking users in touch with industry professionals or anyone with a little bit of experience uh, that can help them with a project, a job or anything they might have a question or need an advice with. Um, today together we'll be going through some of the main features of the app and how it helps the users achieve those goals. So right off the bat, after downloading and installing the app, users uh, have to go through an onboarding process, which just like every other application, focuses on um, some of the features, what the app does, some of its uh, main PowerPoints, and what are the features that help the users uh, achieve their goals. Um, after going through that, the users will have to, for returning users, they could log in. Uh, for the first time users, they can sign up or just log in with the Google. For this demo, we're going to sign up and create an account. After selecting our name and email and password, um, users will have the ability to select a tier, which based on that tier, they will have a different levels of access and contact methods um, for the advice contributing users. Here we reassure them that any information that you use to recreate to, to create your account is not set in stone and you will be able to change whatever you want later in the setting. Don't settings don't worry about it. And after going through that, the users are grouped with the home page. Um, right on top where, where users would expect the, the search bar to be, uh, we have the search function as they the users can search for a pro or a category or anything else that might need help with to see what they can find. For example, here we have a graphic designer. If we would have searched for graphic design, James would have popped up as an online pro. We can tell by this indicator. Uh, we could contact James right now, um, book him for later, or try to learn a little more about him uh, on his homepage. Here we can see how long has been active on the app, his rating, which we'll get, get into in a second, of, from the other users, contact him, book in, or see some of the other social media channels he might be active on, some of his skills, and more about him. So we're going to contact James right now for a video call to ask him about our website, maybe. Um, one more step before starting a call like that, uh, we have this one pop-up because we want to make sure we're not calling people and annoying them accidentally all the time. So we add one, this pop-up, to make sure no one's accidentally calling anyone. And after completing our video call and having our nice conversation and getting some advice that we wanted from James, um, we'll be able to leave him a review to let the other users and him know how he did and if we were happy with him. Or if you don't have the time, you can completely skip this process and you will be able to leave a review on your um, interactions later. Uh, but right now we're going to go back and we're going to leave a James a nice review. We, have, we had a nice experience with him. We are lucky to get back to him. We might even recommend him to a friend. And down here for a nice comment for him. Again, we double check, make sure this is all we wanted to talk about. Uh, we left all the information we wanted to and we're going to submit our review. And by this indicator we can tell that we're going to be sent back to home after this. Now the second and the main feature that I'm going to get into is the calendar because it's been referred to during my usability testing rounds as the beating heart of the application. Uh, here the users can see the date of the day, all the appointments and bookings they have for the day, all the bookings they have for the future, and what they've had in the past. And they'll be able to edit or cancel these um, upcoming appointments uh, from, here, from here. Um, another main feature that we have that uh, helps users find these pros that can help them in the maximum speed is the quick chat. It focuses on your history, your search algorithms, and people you've contacted before um, to offer you the people who you want to reach out as fast as you can. Here we have a few uh, offline pros who are not available for, for contact right now. We can see they're offline by this gray indicator. And if we try to contact them, we'll see that they are not available right now. Either select an online pro or book them for later. Well, we're going to book Robert for later. Um, here we have a booking page. We're going to go ahead and pick a day. We're going to go ahead and select an available time. We can even insert the uh, booking, to, like the topic for the conversation. And notice before you enter your information, this button is not available. After you select your contact method, now it's available for a call. So you can go over all your information and go ahead and book a call with him for later. You submit your booking request and you can go back home. So that was it. That's all the main features that we went through. Um, 
here we have the hamburger site menu which has all the settings that users might be interested in altering later such as their account user commenting and reviewing their recent interactions uh, tier setting which we saw at the start I, general setting helps or log out we are going to log out perfect all right that was it that was my app thank you so much for sitting through um, let me know if you have any comments or suggestions and I'll be happy to have a conversation thank you so much